Freddy, Michael, Jason, and I exchanged glances of confusion. Tasha stood in the hallway, dirt covering her from her dream and her eyes wide. That's when her protective and violent instincts kicked in. Before I, or even the killers, could step forward, she backed away, unplugging the lamp and holding it in her hand as though it were a deadly weapon. Get away from my little sister, you sons of bitches! Tasha shouted before giving a battle cry and rushing forward. I pushed Freddy out of the way, but he pulled me back and wrapped his glove arm around my hands, tightening his hold. <laughs> I want to see how this turns out, he chuckled, amused, and laughed. <sighs> well, I sure as hell don't. I struggled against him as Tasha swung the lamp at Michael, who dodged it easily. Because Michael moved out of the way, the lamp came in contact with Jason's head, instead of its original target. The lampshade became crushed in the bulb as Jason stood unfazed by the sudden blow to his skull. Tasha grabbed the base of it now, basically broken lamp, and swung again. Michael stepped from behind her and grabbed her wrist, twisting it behind her and causing her to drop the lamp. He seemed amused that her attempts to stop her. I mean, sorry. He seemed amused at her attempts to stop them. But then again, he didn't know Tasha very well. She screeched loudly and turned half her body around sharply, grabbing Michael by the neck and digging her nails into him as she jabbed her knee into his rib cage violently. Michael grunted, and when he loosened his grip on Mike, she shoved him hard. He fell backwards onto his back and looked up just in time to see Tasha body slam and dig her elbow into his stomach. Jason just watched on in wonder of this little fight. Freddy was laughing hysterically as he refused to let me break off this fight. Well, if I couldn't physically do it, I'll have to do it verbally. Tasha, stop it! I yelled, squirming to at least try and get Freddy off me. They're not going to kill you! Tasha stopped beating up Michael for a moment, minute, who crawled away and stood up wobbly, holding his head in pain. Her eyes trailed from Jason's massive form to Freddy's laughing one and then she noticed his hold on mine. I will destroy you, she screamed, and ran full force at Freddy. Jason moved out of the way for her and motioned with his hands that she could proceed. Freddy looked up just in time to see Tasha's cleated foot dig itself into his crotch. He howled in pain, stood up, letting me go and dropping me on the ground. Oh. <coughs> you bitch, he growled at her. She got in the crane position, ready to strike. I stood up as fast as I could and screamed, Everybody shut up! All heads turned to look at me now, and I huffed angrily. Group meeting downstairs in the living room now. After seconds of silence, Michael made his way downstairs, and soon Jason, Tasha, and Freddie followed behind him. Walking behind them, we walked into the living room silently. Michael and Jason took a seat on the couch. Freddy stood sitting on the other side of Michael, who was the buffer between the two. Tasha sat down in the big armchair, staring at me before glaring at the killers. Tasha, I have a shit load of stuff to explain to you. So, let me get this straight. Tasha was now the one pacing around as me and the guys sat listening. You three are trying to kill your remake counterparts. She pointed to the trio, who nodded and shrugged in response. But because of your power, but because your power is determined by belief, and most of your belief comes from your fan base, the remakes are killing and converting them. Yes, Freddy replied bitterly, and you needed someone to help you. So you picked Ashling? Tasha pointed a thumb to me, raising her eyebrows. And she accepted? Yes. <laughs> oh, God! Tasha started dying laughing. At my expense, and I felt my face turn red. <laughs> Ashling of all people. She's such a fucking wimp. She's the last person you should have picked. I frowned and embarrassed and crossed my arms, shrinking down in the chair as Freddy laughed at me. And Jason and Michael silently laughed. Well, this just sucked. My sister finds out the truth and j just laughs at my expense. Perfect. 
I sat there, as the group suddenly started making jokes. Freddy would shift into some creepy version of me and imitate me, while Tasha would make jokes. Jason had stopped laughing and was just watching, while Michael actually began to make a laughing noise. My eyes began to water, and then it hit me. They were all right. I am a wimp. Chasing back in my head, I gathered all the information I could. I have always been the kid who got hurt very easily. I couldn't take insults or pain very well. I was afraid of big crowds, and when people shoved me aside, I let them. No. Not anymore. Wiping my eyes, I stood up and stormed towards the back door. I knew that the group still wasn't looking at me yet, seeing that they were all focused on Freddy and Tasha, so I silently made my way to it. Opening the door roughly, I let it slam as it hit the wall. That got Jason's attention. What are you doing? I ignored Jason's question and put my hands on my hips. You three out. I motioned to the trio, now gaining Michael's attention, but not Freddy or Tasha's. Now. Jason and Michael exchanged confused glances before Michael smacked Freddy's back. Freddy turned to glare at them, and Tasha stopped laughing. <laughs> Ash! Kiddo, why are you at the door? She asked, staring at me with a puzzled look on her face. Freddy now decided to turn and look at me. I want you three out of my house. Now. I said again, as threatening as I can make it. Silence was the only response I got as everyone looked at each other. Tasha chortled, chortled, chortled <laughs> and looked at me as if she were expecting to, as if she were expecting me to say it was a joke. Ashling, seriously, what are you, Tasha? I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to those three. Listen, bitch. Freddy stood up, glaring at me. His skin began to bubble and burn as he changed back. I don't know who you think you're talking to. I am not some doormat that can be talked down and made fun of at every turn. Now I want you three to get the fuck out of my house. I shouted, my fist clenching as my temper rose. Okay, getting better. Jason and Michael looked up at Freddy, who raised a non-existent eyebrow. Tasha just looked at me. Amused, thinking it was just a passing thing, I bared my teeth and took a deep breath. Did I do what I fucking said and get the fuck out? I drew my arm back and punched the wall in frustration. When my knuckles came in contact with the wall, the drywall created a small hole. Pain shot up my hand and for the moment I ignored it, relishing in my sudden outbursts. I was proud of myself for finding that fire in me. The four of them had jumped in surprise, and I managed to keep an angry face. Until the realiza realization of my hand breaking hit me. <gasps> ah! I screamed at the top of my lungs and collapsed onto my knees, cradling my now red and purple hand in my arm. Tasha stood up and jumped over the coffee table, making her way to me. Jesus fucking Christ, Ash, what was that for? She half shouted, taking my hand in hers as gently as she could. I winced and tears welled up in my eyes. <laughs> Just fucking great. You guys, you guys were making fun of, of me about how weak I am, so I wanted, I wanted to prove. I trailed off, my lower lip quivering as I finally let my tears fall. The pain was just too much. I know what you guys are thinking, but... Ashling, if you need to work along with three violent killers and fight another three killers, shouldn't you learn to hit solid objects? Well, I shouldn't have let the anger get the best of me, but I was pissed, okay? I started to cry. Yes. Cry. <clears throat> Anyways, Tasha ran upstairs to go grab a warm cloth to stop the bleeding cuts on my knuckles. I looked up to see Jason standing beside Michael, and Freddy, too. Michael looked confused and stunned, to be honest. He slowly made his way towards me and went out the door. Before he left, he looked down at me, then suddenly gave me a thumbs up. Like he was telling me, congrats on growing some balls. Now learn not to be such a crybaby bitch. Freddy seemed unimpressed. Stunned, but unimpressed. Huh. Looks like you've got some pent-up anger in you after all.
he murmured, as he made his way towards the open doorway. Save it for the training. He stepped through the cold air, disappearing. All that was left was Jason. He stood there, and I could see the heavy rain of guilt fell on him. I looked up at him with blurry eyes, tears causing them to sting. I'm sorry, Jason thought, dropping his head down slowly. Before I could answer, I heard a familiar voice echo in my head. Oh my goodness, Ashling! What did you do to yourself? Jason, what happened? Just great. The last person I wanted to talk to tonight shows up to reprimand me for this. She got angry when we all made fun of her, Jason said, worried. He knew his mother would lose it at this response. There was silence in between his sentence, and I stared into the open air. That's when the weirdest, most supernatural thing happened to me. My head began to pound, and it felt as if my brain were pulsating violently. My vision was fading in and out. I felt as if I could black out for any second. I felt sudden anger, rage, sadness, and that motherly feeling you get when you feel bad. Jason Allen Voorhees, how dare you make fun of someone? After everything I taught you about being a good boy and after everything you went through, I thought you knew better. Oh yes, the storm had awakened. I saw Tasha come running down the stairs as she carried a hand wrap fr from her soccer bag. I wondered why she didn't react to Miss Voorhees screaming. Then I remembered that I'm the one with the psychic powers now. Here, we're gonna wrap it up and go to the hospital. Wh what? Wh why? I asked. And when, and that's when the realization and fear of my situation hit me. I, I was afraid of hospitals, and if I, if I needed to go there at night. Your hand is a mess. It's purple and bruised. Your knuckles are bleeding, and your fingers look broken. Tasha said as she wrapped up my hand gently. I winced and shook my head. No, I, I don't need to go. You're obviously in pain. Tasha looked over at Jason who was standing still as his mother mentally yelled at him, raged at him. No, I'm not, see? I tried moving a finger, but I winced and gritted my teeth. Rolling her eyes, Tasha finished wrapping my hand and helped me stand. Let's go. I'll call Mom and Tom on the way there, okay? Without letting me protest, Tasha pushed me towards the door as Jason was left standing in the living room. I climbed in the passenger seat in the car as Tasha began backing out of the driveway. I noticed Jason suddenly turned his head to the window, grabbing his machete and storming outside.